My name is Xavier and welcome uh, back to IUBS 2. Uh, today, I'm gonna try a multiplayer, or actually I guess it's online War of the Kings battle, uh, per request from the comments on the last video. God, something about this menu just makes me excited. I just want to sit here and like have this menu with this music playing in the background all day long. I woke up today a little exhausted, I need to record 13 episodes! <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna get like three done, uh, but I'm 13 behind. And I thought, what would really get me motivated today? Where do I want to start? And this was the first thing that came to mind. Fast pace, action, online, cool music, swinging around. Let's do it. Keep calm and focus. Welcome. All right, I got six people apparently I have to beat. Nothing works as usually. Okay, we already know that. And I'm starting. Oh, it's showing you the map of where you are. Interesting. Is each one of these dots like a certain different player strategy that I have to beat? Oh, whoopsie daisy. That was, that was like, go back to the main menu. I don't really know how all this works. I've never done it before, this is my first time, but I have a good strategy. I'm gonna get in really fast and spam a lot of basic buildings. The world. Each map cell is owned by one of the 1,024 current opponents. What? Newcomers start in the edge of the world, trying to reach eventually the center point. Hence, the deeper you go inside the world, the stronger your opponents will be. And no, you don't have any ally down here, since obviously there can only be one king. Wow. I don't- do I actually have to go from here and beat a thousand people? I don't think so. Move and fight. To move along, you have to target one of your surrounding opponents and engage him in battle. By defeating him, you will take his position. Step by step, battle after battle, you'll able to travel the world. I see. Cool. When you play an opponent, you don't play him in real time, but you fight against a replay of his last successful strategy. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, lord. Okay. Since the IOBs don't need micromanage, even without lead, they'll keep the effectiveness and achieve the velocity of their owner. And since the IOBs never get tired, you can retry the same opponent as many times as you need to find his weaknesses. This is actually a really cool take on multiplayer. The banners. The first goal is to collect the four banners all around the map. Really? That's going to take me... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Holy mother of heavens. We're looking at like a hundred battles to become the king, at least. Wow. Don't forget this is moving world. Every successful battle from any contender may ch change the playground by pushing away players or adding new strategies uh, to the map. Lastly, the king. The last banner will show itself as soon as you own all the banners. Oh, okay. At this point, try to reach the very center of the map by catching the very last banner, and you will be crowned a new king of the Ayubes. Wow. All right. X wins verse. Dot, dot, dots. West Kingdom, score 10. Here you are. Select your opponent. I gotta select Lukiu. South Tribe, score 18. This is too far. You can only fight surrounding opponent. Oh, do I have to click down here? Like up here? Fight. Enter water zone. Ah, Zarium. Who the heck is Ko Kotiko 3? Kotiko 3, 18. Ragnifithium. Who are these people? X German X, score 32. Ooh, X German X is looking serious, guys. Score 32. Everyone else is a bunch of losers with score 18, but then again, I'm going away from the banner, so that's probably why. If I need to go towards the banner, I have to come up here. All right, X German X. Let's do it. Let us do it. I got the plans here, guys. I got the plans. This is interesting. Battle starts now. Let's swing up here. How do I even do this again? House? I click the button here. Uh, I'm gonna go for probably a ton of houses. Oh, what do you mean I can't build that? Why can't I build a house? What the heck? I'm already losing the game here. Oh, I was building the wrong house. I see. All right. Uh, let's swing down here a little bit. Uh, let's do another house really quick. I probably want to... I think you can hold down shift. Let's put up like four houses, right? Now, they just had a patch today where you can't build the farms, and yeah, see, you have to build the house first. And so all the things you need to build, you have to do, like, that way you don't have 15,000 things, you don't get overwhelmed, like, super fast. Whoopsie daisy. I just clicked another button there by mistake. Well, let's swing over here and let's check out X German X. What's he doing? He's got one house and a farm. I see. His strategy, then, was house farm. My strategy was screw around and build seven houses. <laughs> by mistake. Uh, I'm gonna need the farms pretty quick here, but you know what? He may have been playing this game when he could have built farms right away, whereas I can no longer do that. Interesting. All right, well, we'll just hang out here a little bit. It's gonna take. Oh, I actually realize now that I have one person at each each place building one house, rather than five of them building one house, so they're going very slowly. That is super fascinating to me, because there's such a huge depth of strategy 
with that being the case. But let's come in here, uh, let's do some farms like right now. I want to make like a whole farm town, right? So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I know you can build like 30 farms. Let's do, oh, that's many. It's as many as I can put up there. Okay, great. Now we're going, how's he doing over here so far? He's got two houses and he's working on a stone pit out there and he's got three farms. All right, we'll see. We'll see X German X. We'll see how this works out. Just gotta wait a little bit here for my farms. I can actually start thinking right now because I have two extra slots here. Do I wanna do what he did? No, I wanna do a granary actually right in the middle. Right in the middle of all that stuff. That's my next big thing. Then I think I want to do the stone pit. Uh, the stone pit, I think... I'm not really sure. Oh, I just placed it by mistake. How do I actually cancel it? There it is. Destroy. Uh, let's right click here. Let's do the stone pit again. I think these are actually gold resources. I should probably build my stone pit semi-close to stone. Let's build it like right there, I think. Not sure if that's really where I... the best place to put it, but I think it might be. Because this mountain should count as stone. But I, one of the things they did was they added gold. Like, I think that right there is gold. You can't quite see. This is gold. Gold. Interesting. All right. So it's it's clearly visible now. That also could not be gold, but I'm pretty sure that is gold. Let's zoom around. That looks like gold to me as well. Yeah. All right. He's got three houses, three farms, and a tower. What a doofus. Who builds a tower? This guy was probably as dumb as me when I first started playing this game. <laughs> of course, this is my second time playing it, so... That's not saying very much. <laughs> all right, all these things are coming along here. I got my mill stone pit. W wait, where did my mill go? Is this my mill? I actually, a granary. That's okay. That's uh, that's what I meant by mill. Gr mill is the upgraded granary. Let's come back over here now. Plus 10 food, right? No, let's do more houses. It looks like my population's capped right now. So let's do house, 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 house. A many house. I'm going full on, like, just push right into this. Food is coming along well. I kind of wish I had put the granary in the middle, because that's where I wanted it. But you know what? I can put the mill there later, so it's not too big of a deal. Speaking of, we can build 30 of these farms, right? So let's start cranking those out. Although the more I build these now, the less these guys are going to be focused on building the houses. And I need the houses right now to get my... Look how fast my pop cap just went up. 40 to 70. Bam, it's growing like maniacs. Yes, yes, guys, yes. Look at this. Now I've got guys up the bazoo, 100 on the pop cap. Let's right click here. What's my next house? I've already built 10 out of 10. I can't build any more, all right? So the next big deal then is going to be the barracks, but that requires stone. I did get my stone thing done, I believe. So why don't I go for uh, one barracks? We'll start putting them um, We'll start putting them out over here, I think. We'll do one. If I can do another one really close. Two, three, four. All right, that's going to be a lot of work right there, though. Let's come back now in the meantime and build a few more farms. Basically, as many as I can possibly get to get this food going here to really support the growth of these batteries when they get done. The stone's looking pretty good over here. Let's go take a look at uh, X German X and see what he's up to. X German X, what are you at? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses. You're building something over there. Another tower, it looks like. You got a stone pit. Oh, that was the stone pit. You're building a tower first. You've only just now... Finish the stone pit. Interesting. Anything over here you're doing? You got another tower over there. Okay, you're pushing out towards me, it seems. I got no towers, but I got way more pop, I believe. Um, could be mistaken about that. Once these batteries get done, though, we are going to be up in action, friends. Up in action. Why Did I build a farm in the middle here? No, let's destroy that farm. I don't want that there. I do want more farms, though. Here, here, here. Okay, I got too many things going on right now. Lots of construction happening. I'm okay with that. Food is maxed, pop is maxed. Well, nothing I can really do. These batteries take a long time, and it seems like stone is our number one issue right here. What am I going to do next? I have a little bit of a reprieve here to think through. Fields, I need to build a mill first. I do want to build a mill in the middle of all my farms there. Stone, mill. This requires stones. Okay. Stones, wood, and sand. Let's do it. Let's actually throw... Oh, why do they keep building that farm in the middle there? The heck is with these guys? I don't understand. Let's build a mill right here in the middle of that. That's what I want. Good. Uh, and let's finish up the farms, if at all possible. I can only build six more anyway, so we'll do one, two, three. Looks good. All right, now we're stalled a little bit. I got a lot of things queued up here. Pop and food are max, which is really bad. I probably should have started building batter sooner. Let's go take a look at X German X. What's he up to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses, eight houses. He's building more random farms here. Uh, he might be doing a smarter job, though. He's building some stuff over there as well. He's got one stone pit. 
Um, okay, I still have more guys than he does, though, right now. So let's swing over here. Once I get these houses up, or these barracks, I think my next step is going to be building a little bit of warriors. Are they seriously building a farm in there? They better not. They're building another farm in there? I thought I said mill. Where's my mill? Why is it going over there instead of here? I don't know. Maybe that's just... Maybe it just does it smarter than I'm doing it, I guess, for whatever reason. I don't know. Regardless, let's come in and how many more farms? I got four more. Sure, I can queue those up. Not that I'd really need them right now, now that I think about it, actually. I'm just wasting time building these things. Because my food is capped anyway. What I need is the barracks. So I should let these guys just hang out and have their time here. If anything, I need more stone. What's going on? Uh, we have fights going on down here? Yeah, he's, a, he's attacking us, actually. He's attacking us all over the place. Well, 50-50 right now. And my barracks are nowhere near complete. Absolutely dootly nowhere. Now, what's the deal with this? Why are they taking so long here? Barracks. Um, sand and wood. All right. Where's the wood nearby? We got some decent wood out here. But it does seem like his guys are venturing in here, hampering my ability to collect it, it seems. So maybe that's the problem? Warriors, zero. Buildings, 20. Or 20 people are building out of 57. Farming, 26 out of 26. Well... I think I overdid the farms here. I have clearly overdone the farms. That's good to know, though, for the future. I got way too many farms, and I did not have enough barracks right now. But what's actually the slowdown on making the barracks is my question. I guess if I looked at them, I could see probably stone. And I, you know what? A lot of the stone is going to the mill, which I don't need at all. So that was kind of a waste. Okay. I still feel like x German X is a doofus, and I can take him out regardless. So... He's only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 houses now. He's got no barracks. He's got three towers. I don't feel like... Oh, he's got actually five towers if you count those ones. He's going tower heavy, but guess what? I'll have population heavy in a few minutes here. All right, guys. Mill 95. Once that's done, I think everyone's going to focus more on these things over here. Let's go find out. Zoom in a little bit. 97. Let's see what they do. I hope they come over here and start hitting up these things. Shouldn't have built that mill. That was a huge mistake. It took forever. It took a ton of stone, a ton of effort. Didn't need it. I'm getting nothing out of it. Well, I guess I'm storing up some more food now, so there's that. But now these things are coming along. Yep, Barracks, 80. 86. Guys are coming over here to grab a bunch of stone. They're going back over there. Come on, guys. 95, 96. When that battery gets up, we are going to start going into the stratosphere. There we go. It's done. Bam. 140 population like nothing. And that means these batteries will start getting put together like maniacs as well. Okay. Oh, I see the problem with the farms now. You need space around the building. So when I was putting them there, they were going other places because they couldn't quite fit. And I was wondering that, too, when I was placing these barracks down, because I thought that I was putting them closer together than that. But they just snapped to the closest possible place they can actually fit. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ahead now. 58, 57. There goes a million guys hitting up that stone. There's barracks number two. Look at that food. Look at that pop. Woo! Warrior time, friends. Do some warriors. Uh, warriors out here. What does this take? It takes stone, wood, and sand. All right, let's build it closer to the stone then, right? Let's throw it, like, right up there. Looks good. And I think that's all I want to do for now. Let's go check out X German X, see what he's up to. Looking around the map, I'm not seeing very much here. Nothing really new down. Ooh, he's got some fields he's building and a whole bunch of other buildings over there. I can't quite see what they are, though. Can I left click on him to find out? I'm not, not really sure. That looks like another field, to be honest. Oh, he's building another tower over there. He's going very tower defense. Very tower defense. All right. Why don't I go very offensive then? I got another barracks up here. Beautiful. As my warriors are getting up now. Good. Bam. Now we're talking. Not even sure if he has any warrior buildings. Let's go take a look really quick. No, he doesn't. He's just got defenses with towers, and that's it. All right. Interesting. Well, let's throw up another warrior, I think. Kind of want to wait for this barracks to get done, but I'm not sure if I really need to. See, if I click this thing in here, it was in that exact tile, but I couldn't actually build it there, so the IU moved it one tile over. I see. Cool. There's another barracks. Bam! Look at that population. I want to build, I think, two more warrior huts now. As soon as that one gets done, maybe. It's going really, really, really fast. You know what? Let's just do another one right now. Let's see if I need to do another one. W is warriors. 
If I throw another one in here to me, oh my lord. I'm gonna overpower this guy so hard, so soon. How many warriors can I have total right now? 30? Everyone gives me 10. How many warrior huts can I build? You know what? I may even just build 10. This thing is coming along really fast. Okay, W is the warrior key. So let's actually do it and see if this works. I'm going to go warrior, 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 warrior. Let's put him in, guys. I'm 71% population here. These things are getting cranked out. Wow. What a beautiful sight, huh? What a beautiful sight. In a second, I'm going to go watch the warriors, see what they're up to. My population's kind of max, but I don't want to queue up any more barracks just yet. What are these guys? Oh, they're over here attacking his towers. Yes, they are. How's that tower doing? I can't even see my mouse. There it is. 100% on that tower. Not... Oh, he's building warrior. He finally got around to the warrior houses right there. Okay. He's only got two of them, so I feel like I need more. I just finished all of mine. Let's go up to the cap here on the warriors. Up to the cap on the warriors, I can do one more. Okay, that's not very much. Well, I'll throw it in, like, right here. Beautiful. What's my next thing? Uh, maybe a pyromancers? I can build ten of these. How many guys do I have? Warriors. 57 out of 90. 58 out of 90. They're all getting themselves killed. I may need more pop. Food has become a very big issue now as well. Did I ever finish up my farms? The answer is no. I can build four more. You know what? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And then I can actually start building fields. Fields take a ton of water and a ton more wood. So why don't I put these a little bit over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, really push that ahead. And then you know what? I think I'll throw in one more barracks here. I might be over expanding a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. So I got 103 people building, 11 people defending, 30 people farming. And I got 56 people warring. I'm actually a little bit low on the warriors, it seems. I need more to pop, for sure. I'm at 74%. I am out gunning this guy, for sure. Oh, whoa, I didn't even notice this. I beat back some of his towers. His towers over here are a man. Towers over here are a man. And towers over there are a man. But here's the problem, right? He built so many towers, all his Ayubs are sitting in the towers defending. They're just sitting there. They're not, like, they're not doing the things. And I'm overpowering his ability to do stuff. I'm right in his base. Right on up in his base, friends. Right on up in his base. Awesome. We are just wrecking stuff. Wrecking his totems, wrecking these things, wrecking those things. Wrecking it like Ralph, as they say. Not that I even know what that means, but I know I've heard it before. I know I've heard it before. All right. Let's swing over here a little bit, get a better view on our base. Holy mother of heavens. Look at those fields. They're all built. Almost all these barracks are built. Wow. The food is still an issue here. I may need even more to barracks now that I'm thinking about it. Sometimes I have difficulty finding my mouse. Five out of five. Actually, I'm at the is that the pop cap then? Outpost, iron forge, totem, armory, water. Yeah, that's the pop cap. I've hit the pop cap. I think going for an early pop cap is probably a smart idea. Hydromancers or outposts, or I could go for an iron forge, essential for more advanced buildings. I'm probably just going to go for Pyromancers because I feel like I've got this in the bag now. So let's just queue up as many of these things as I possibly can. I'll throw in like five. Beautiful. And I think that's it. Is that as many as I can actually build? No, I can actually build ten. Not that it really matter. Well, my warriors are capped now. 96 out of 100. Farming 37 out of 37. They are just busy little beavers down. Oh! Huzzah! I didn't even get the chance to go check it out. New position taken. Take that, X german X. Way to build towers, you scrubby bubby. Wow, I had no idea the multiplayer in this game would be so engaging. Holy mother of heavens. And it was an 18 minute battle too, and that was with me even, it wasn't even 18 minutes. 18 minutes I've been recording. And I started and talked for a little bit and had to read through all this thing and all that good stuff. What's up here? Z Zomzin has a score of 39, the East Empire. All right, South Tribes, Fortless, scored of 38. You know what, let's do one more. Mr. Mr. Panterson. I think Mr. Panterson's kind of a loser. I'm going to go for Fortless here. I want to get directly up to this red banner. Alessa, do it. Let's do it, Fortless. You're going to have no forts, right? The opposite of X German X, who tried to do nothing but forts. Whoa, I'm in like a little desert town here. All right, first up, let's go houses. I want houses for a days. One, two. Let's just build two this time around. <clears throat> All right, now, there's some gold right there, which is pretty cool, right in my base. This is little... Oh, there's like three gold over here. Fascinate. Let's go check another gold over here, another gold over there. And uh, here's Mr. Dooferson himself, Fortless. Why does it say X question mark up here? Isn't this Fortless? 
Should just tell me his name is Phyllis. Uh, whoa! Whoopsie daisy. That's not what I meant to do. Oh god. Oh god. There, that's much better. Well, he's kind of a slow poke, it seems. I bet I'm gonna beat Fortless handedly. Absolutely handedly. All right, there we go. Both my houses are up. Uh, let us spamming all those farms for days. Right here looks like a great place for it. Now I realize how the things work, right? So I need to leave more space. One, two. I could put one right there. Which means I could do something like this. I'm just going to queue up all the farms. And uh, then we'll go back to some more houses. These houses can fit, like, right in there. Beautiful. Too many constructions in progress. Let's just wait a little bit. I got pop out of... I got 12 out of 20. Food is 15 out of 500. Currently at 54. Let's go check out Fortless himself. Fortless yourself. Where are you, friend? You got one house, two houses. All right. Now what are you doing, friend? What are you doing? That's all you're doing? What the heck? What kind of slowpoke are you? This guy's... A, whoa. What is he doing out there? He's like clicking in the water for some reason. I don't think he knows how to play the game. Oh, God. We're going to crush Fortless. We are going to crush... For Imagine how much more difficult things are going to get in the future. And then it's so cool that you can replay the same strategy over and over until you beat it. And then you gotta, and then once you, the closer you get to the center, the more you have to think about playing your strategy to defend against other people's like potential strategies. That is just such a cool concept to me. But anyway, let's come over here. We'll do some more houses. Houses for days, friends. Okay, looking good. We cranked all those out. This food isn't really enough, but it's probably enough for right now. Uh, next up, let's do a granary really quick. If I can find it, it's right here. A granary. Uh, we'll throw it right in there. Beautiful. All right, everyone's busy doing one house at a time. And I did say in the last game that that might have been a mistake. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure it is. Maybe building 10 of them all at the same time will give us some time to get some food up or whatnot. My pop is hitting the cap pretty fast. 30 out of 30. Okay, there we go. We're bl blowing through the food now. Now we're having difficulties hitting the cap. So I need some more food for sure. Let's come over here. Uh, we'll do farms for days. Farms for days! Okay, how we doing over here, Fortless? What are you up to? You got yourself... Oh, you... What a joke! He's building a... He's building a field! He's building only fields! He's starting with fields! Instead of farms! The game even tells you not to do that. It's like, this is a dumb idea, you dummy. Okay, it doesn't really say that, but it was kind of insulting like that when it was translated. It was along those lines. Alright, all my farms are built here. We are up and at them, guys. Have I built all the maximum houses that I can build? The answer is yes. Next up is barracks, but let's do more farms, I think. Okay. Because I'm looking here, I got 76 out of 100. Food will be full pretty soon. It's going to be time for a barrack soon, but first we need stone. Where's the nearest stone? Looks like right over here, right? I think that'll get stone. I don't actually, I don't think it matters where the stone comes from, to be honest. I think the only thing, uh, you can mine stone out of any place you can put it. The only reason to really care about where you put it is the travel time from the buildings to go to get the stone. So with that being the case, we have the granary. Fields are looking good right now. I could queue more up because no one's really doing anything, but I'm just going to wait. Now I'm going to go for barracks. I'm going to build, I think, all five barracks. One, two, three, four, five. Now I know that's kind of ridiculous. Probably unnecessary. But at the same time, I feel like we can sustain it. We can crush this guy in no pro no time whatsoever. Let's come over here for more farms. Looking good. Maximum building limit reach. How many farms have we built? 30 out of 30. We're pretty much done on that front. I may just go straight to warriors and go crush this guy. Straight to warriors. But I want to finish this building up here. I probably should have put this stone mine right here in the middle. So that these guys would take less time running back and forth. Although they also need wood too. So that's one of the things they need to do. Wow, do you guys see that tree just disappear? They just came over here and chopped the tree. There was a patch note uh, this morning about making it more clear. 44, 42, 40, 38, 36. They were telling, like, something about, you can understand these numbers to see how much wood and how much food there actually is at all of these trees and whatnot. But I obviously don't understand that yet. I don't really need to, to defeat frigging X German X and Fortless, though. That's for sure. Warriors, you're next, but I don't want to queue anything up until these things get done because we need a lot of people working on these. I do find it pretty fascinating, like, exactly what is the, the most optimal route to go from houses to barracks to farms, like, and then mills and the granary and then the fields. Like, there's probably some sort of semi-optimal path, but that's going to vary based on your terrain. Like, look at this terrain. I've only got this one little grow zone here, and that means I have to move, like, out here for my next farming area. Fascinating. <laughs> 
All right, let's go check up on Fortless. He's at, uh, I'm at 76%. He's got like a stone over here. He's got some more fields finally. No, those are farms actually. These are all fields. He's only got two houses. Okay, I could just build warrior huts and crush this guy. That's it. So once these batteries are done, I'm going to do exactly that, and we'll crush this guy in no time a flat. How did he get a score to 36 when the last guy got a score of, like, 24? No idea. All right, one batteric done. Population growing. Other batteries coming along here. Eighty, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-six. Great. Oh, there we go. Hundred percent on that batterix. That means I got a whole bunch more Ayubes with all that food. I don't really have the support for. Holy mother of heavens! These guys are coming out of the woodwork. We just clear cut all those trees. Look at that. Now we got to go all the way over there to get these trees. That's what's taking longer. Maybe it makes more sense to space out your barracks then, to get optimal use of tree cutting time. Interesting. And if that were the case, I'd probably want to put my barracks over here or something. Like, spread them out. But then they're so far out there, I might want to build the defense a little bit. Huh. Well, that's kind of curious. Uh, let's do this, though. Let's do the warriors. These do require wood, but a lot less. So I'm going to put these up here towards this wood. I'm going to crank out as many of these things as I can possibly make. Just bam, 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 bam. And that's how I win this. That's how I beat this guy. Fortless is a doofus. He's a maximum doofus. Like... This is how I feel doofuses should be treated. You crush him without catering. What the hell did he... Oh. Oh, he's building a, another little thing over here. Look at him. Look how cute little Fortless is. I imagine this is like a nine-year-old kid or something, and here I am like, I'm the best. Take that, you stupid nine-year-old. But anyway, he's building two houses. Two more houses here. He's, he's, whoa, how the heck did I just do that? Oh, I clicked on a building by mistake there, and my, I zoomed all the way back over. Yeah, he's building up a bunch of farms, a bunch of fields, rather. These two houses. It looks like he's finally starting to get some buildings in here, but I'm not sure what those are. It looks like only even almost more food. I don't think he grasped the concept, because I haven't even done anything yet, and I'm already at 84%. Like, I am just crushing this guy for days. A forer a days. I wonder if I could become the king. I am super, super, super engaged. When I first played this game, I thought, okay, I'll do a once-off video. But now I'm thinking, wow, I want to be the king. I want to be the king, guys. But it's going to take 100 battles or two battles per episode. 50 episodes? Yeah, I don't think so. That, that's that's a bit much. Oh, here comes the warriors. Wow, look at these guys coming over here mining that stone to finish up all these warrior huts. 99, 100, 96, 99, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. There we go, guys. See you later, Fortalist. My arm is on the rampage. My army is on the rampage. You, sir, made the worst possible mistake ever going straight for fields. Those things take days. They take days. Don't you know, Fortless? Somehow he actually won the game using this strategy, too, which is like... Then again, my first game, I won... It took me 50 minutes. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's played against my strategy and they're like, what is this freaking moron X-Wins doing? What is he thinking? Why is he building like 8 million things in catapults? They probably never even saw the catapults because they killed me before I got to the point where I built them. Oh, wow. Oh, I also not understand like, you can't exactly have the buildings go exactly where you click because... Uh, first of all, I wonder if you play on different maps from playthrough to playthrough. But more importantly, like let's say I put a catapult and the enemy put there a building there before that, you know, like I couldn't have any ability to put the catapult there. So we'd have to put it nearby, like the nearest closest place, I suppose. Fascinating. Holy, look at my warriors. A bam. I take that, Fortless. That was like, what, eight minutes? That was kind of a joke. Oh, I see the colors here are the faction that they chose. And I don't think that makes any difference. Like, they don't have any, like, different ability or anything. X-Wins versus Glee Butta Joy. What am I, what am I looking at right here? Butta Joy. Mr. Wacky. Score 11, score 18. You can only fight surrounding opponents. Oh, I'm just clicking on these things and it's showing me random the things over... Oh, I see, because this is just showing me the colors and what I'm clicking on is actually, like, the tile grid way up there. So the only places I can go are right down here. No sit. No sit. North Horde, score 44, ready for battle. How is it not ready for battle, I wonder? Wuduko. Wudukun. Um, should I come up here, maybe? Should I even play another battle? I kind of want to, because that one was really easy. 
God. Um, I don't think I will, though. I mean, I want to, but I don't think I will. It's probably gonna be the same thing where I spam stuff. I'm want- I kinda wanna- let's just go do it. Let's go fight no sit. I wanna see if he's gonna do something dumb like build mills. And if he is, I wonder if I can beat him any faster. Plus, I'm getting better and better and better with my startup here, right? Let's do like, in this time around, the two houses. And then I'll switch over to a couple of farms. And, and it does- there is an option, or there's supposed to be an option, if I can find- I don't wanna have the thing minimize again. Config, audio and graphics, miscellaneous, screenshot, full screen, hide HUD. Okay, I think they're gonna add an option. Now for advanced players, I suppose, where when you can right-click, you can have access to these things. Right now, I guess you can't, they, because people were confused when they saw 50 million buildings. Uh, so this kind of guides new players, but you can shut this off so you can see all the buildings and then queue them up in uh, in advance, rather than sitting here. Also, another thing I can do, I know the farms are F. Oh, it doesn't show you the hotkey when they're disabled either. Where am I going to put my farms? Well, you know what? Let's start building the farms. Um... Let me think here. Let's zoom. I should have done this before they got built, but let's put a little farm patch like right here. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll come around here and I'll kind of put a granary in now to help out with that. Like really close here if possible. And hopefully that gets slapped in like as close to that corner as it can be. Uh, and then meanwhile, we're gonna need more houses after that. Let's swing over here and go back to houses. What is houses? H. I should just remember these keys. We'll do another house there. All right, let's go check out No Sit. No sit. What's up, friend? Where where are you at? Ooh, whoa! This is like a totally different map. Okay, no sits over here with one two houses. What's he doing over here? I feel like he's doing something weird. No, he's just building three houses. Does he? Where's his other totem? Don't they always start with two? What? This is like a super cylinder world. Wow. This is so different. The last one was like islands, and it was like narrow, and this one is like super long and like full. Holy disorienting Batman. God, I love this game all of a sudden. I mean, I kind of liked it a lot before, but the more I play it, the more deep I real. I thought it was like really shallow, but now I'm realizing it's actually really deep, like brilliant, brilliantly deep. Let's do farms over here. Um, hold on. Farm, 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 farm. Uh, and let's go back to these houses. Did I queue up more? I did. Oh, I probably should not have done those farms. Those were a dumb idea. I should have gone for the... Well, they're really fast to build, though, so... And I do have to build up uh, five. Unless I'm actually at the pop, it probably doesn't matter. So let's do houses. It is the H key. Let's try to make them a little bit symmetrical, shall we? And I'm replacing all my farms over there. Great farms. As soon as they get done, I'm building in more houses. Too many constructors. Things are getting a little bit slow here. We're very, very food limited. Not quite pop limited. We're almost pop limited here. Go check it. Uh, check out Nosit. Whoa! Nosit's building all manner of farms. He's building them pretty close to me too. I'm like right over here, and he's jumping the he's jumping the proverbial water here and coming right at me. Weird that he's building all his things far away from each other because now he's got to cross the water. And one of the things in the tutorial said that I use a slow crossing water, so you don't want to build like a mill here and have him go back and forth to the mill or or the uh, granary or whatever it is. I'm probably using all the wrong terminology for these words. God, this world is super cool though. All right, there we go. I got most of my houses done. Let's just finish them up for sure. We'll go house theater and like house theater. I think that's probably all I can build. Yep. So at this point, it's going to be more about farms, right? So the farms are F. I should just remember that. We'll throw in a whole bunch of these. Okay, now they're, they're pulling out of the... No, the houses are actually done. They're not pulling out of them. They're just done with them. Look how fast they get these things done. Okay. This will get me all the food I need to get all the population I need. Let's go immediately then to Stone Pit. Where do I want to build this? Actually, it's a good question. Where do I want to build this? I need to build it. Let me get a better angle here. Woo, that's so fun. I think I need to build it over here closer to him. God, I have no place. There's no good place for barracks. Maybe over here? Kind of out of the way? No, he's got houses over here as well. What the heck? All right, let's, let's, let's assume we're going to build them over like here in the middle. I'll just throw down that there, right? Uh, then, as soon as that's done, we can build the barracks. So my food is almost maxed. My population's pretty much maxed. I got no warriors. I should really, really consider building maybe them before this time around. Nosa doesn't seem all that intimidating to me. I think I can crush him like a doofus. Come on, guys. Build up this here thing. 95, 96, 97. 98, 100. There we go. Let's go immediately for some warriors this time around to start getting some fight on this guy. Let's build him a little further away from the stone pit. Closer to his uh, guys down there and way over here. 
Where the heck is this other guy? God, he's doing the weirdest stuff. Like, he's building all these things all spread out. And that's not the ideal way to do it with the granaries, because I think they have to walk to the granaries. And here he is defending nothing. Well, I guess he's defending his tower. And there are some deaths there, so... You know, something's coming along from that. Now, this time I wonder if I even need to bother with the barracks. I wonder if I just go straight to warriors, if that's all I need. Let's find out. I bet it is, because this guy's such a doofus. I'll right, put in five of those, and I bet that's going to be enough. Defending one, farming 23 out of 23, building 59. There's my first warrior. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's going to cut down on our builders, but that's fine. Now, you guys should be out there murdering his little doofers. Yep, there we go. Hey, Nosit. How's it feel, huh? How's it feel? I wonder if someone came across my videos of, like, me killing them. That'd be really interesting. And then also be really interesting to watch other people's videos of them killing me. Actually, that would probably be horrific. But I'd be interested to see it. If you guys play this game, come fight me. Come fight me! I dare you and make a video of it. I want to see it. That'd be awesome. Okay, no sits actually doing pretty good here. I'm, I'm down to 62. For a while, I was a lot higher, but you know what? That's because I'm now investing into barracks. We're almost done with all of those. Let's go see what he's been up to in the meantime. He's building all his random houses out here, all right? He's building some defensive towers out there. He's got a stone pit over there, which is not ideal. I've learned that. You don't want to have it way back here. You want to put it in the middle someplace where you can build around it or reduce travel time. Otherwise, it's not looking so good. Yep, I'm crushing them. I got guys everywhere just beating things into the ground. This little Ayubes can't even do their farming. But somehow his population's... Well, you know why? It's because I haven't built any barracks, and he's building his houses up to the max limit there. So now it's probably time for some barracks. Uh, let's build them over here relatively close. I'll put three of them up. Looks good. Yeah, they all went in where they needed to go, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the Ayub moved it for me. Thank you, little Ayub. Very much appreciated. Now, let's zoom over here and see what's going on. Oh, he's actually got... His base is that close to me on that side? Oh, because I have my warriors right here. Again, with the towers. I mean, towers are good, but I think people are building them too early. Doot, 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 doot. God, I love the music in this game. I especially love the the menu music. What's over here? He's got a bunch of farms, bunch of farms, but they're all spread out like a doofus. Oh, he's got all his houses out here undefended. I'm just crushing those. No problem. No problem. Oh, yeah, we're right in his base. We've cleared all the uh, Ayubes out of his tower. Sure, we took some losses, right? Like, look around here. All of these things are probably our losses, but so what? This guy doesn't even have warriors yet. No, sit. It's time to sit down, friend. Sit down and let the real champion of Ayub Kingdom learn you how it's done. I also really enjoy that, like, there's a decent amount of strategy, very minimal clicking to actually play, and it's more like thinking, but then it's really engaging to look around and watch, like, the fruits of your labors unfold, just because of the way the map like, warps around, and it's really interesting to look at. Like, in a lot of RTS games, you build up your base, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna win, and then you're just kind of annoyed by having to, like, watch them sitting there killing a million guys, but this is actually fun to zoom around. It's like you're flying around having fun watching them kill a million guys. Whoa, a tree just grew out of nothing. Does trees regrow? Huh. 97, 98, a 99, a win. You no longer have to get to 100% like before. That's one of the patch notes from today. You just have to hit 99 and there we go, friends. Three in a row. I am unstoppable, Gustavo. <gasps> Gustavo, one of my favorite names of all time. I can't fight Gustavo, though. This episode's been, I think, long enough. I could probably play this game all day. All day. I mean, you know, so far I've been doing the same thing three times in a row. But eventually, someone's going to do something that challenges me, and I'm going to have to adapt. And, like, that's going to be super interesting. And I am on the very outer parts of the map here. And this is a thousand, apparently a thousand of the top scoring strategies are on this field right now. And I don't know how many people have bought this game. It's probably not all that popular, relatively speaking. So I don't know how many... You know, imagine if this game had, like, millions and millions of people who played it. This map would be insanely difficult. Even the first, I think. Then again, I don't really know how it works, so maybe it wouldn't be that way. I just assume they take the thousand best scores, and that's who populates where and whatnot. But, anywho's, that was a fun time with friends. I'll tell you what. Let's go continue next battle. Let's st stop for now. Ah, uh, just so I can hear this.
Yes, there's the music. Eggs Bacon is the king. For a long time, Diesel was the king. And Diesel was uh, in in like the, the pre-release screenshot. So I imagine he's like a friend of the developer or something like that. Or maybe the developer's name himself. I know it's like, yeah, Coderer is the actual developer. But yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. But I know that he's no longer the king. Eggs Bacon is the new king, apparently. And uh, there's been apparently nine kings since the release of the game. Nine people have taken that title. So I, I originally thought, you know, Diesel's probably just going to hold on to it. But no, there's enough people playing it with enough interest that nine people in the last week have become king or so. Fascinating. Super fat. Oh, day nine. Yeah, here we are. Day nine. Wow, this game's only been out for nine days and there's been nine kings. That's like one a day. And if you consider it, it takes like probably a hundred battles to go get all the flags and then fight your way to the middle. If not more than that, that's a lot of gameplay. Anywho's, I am, the more I play this game, the more I enjoy it. This was a ton of fun. My only fear is that I probably won't play it more because not enough people watch it to make it worth the time compared to the other 10 billion games I want to play. So, yeah, wow. God, this music, though. It's so much fun. This is awesome. I'm so glad I did this. Thanks to everyone in the comments who wanted or suggested or mentioned that they wanted to see a multiplayer battle or, or more of this. Uh, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have done it, and I'm really, really, really glad I did. Anywho, uh, that has been Ayub's 2 a multiplayer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Oh, here comes the warriors. Wow, look at these guys coming over here mining that stone to finish up all these warrior huts. 99, 100, 96, 99, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. There we go, guys. See you later, Fortalist. My arm is on the rampage. My army is on the rampage. You, sir, made the worst possible mistake ever going straight for fields. Those things take days.